Why? Why is the African species reducing? Why don't we have tall, huge human beings like those ones in the pre-colonial times? Why? Can it not be related to the drugs we are taking? Can it not be related to the birth control mechanisms? Hello, thank you for tuning in. This is what we are going to talk about today. My name is Honorable Odongato. I'm a philosopher, I'm a critical thinker, I am a lawyer, I am a researcher, and thank you. The population of Africa is estimated to be 1.2 billion people. And in the next 30 years, the population is expected to double to reach the mark, the 2 billion mark. The most highly populous countries in Africa is Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Egypt, and Tanzania. Huge populations. But today I'm thinking, what methods of birth controls are we using? Why are our mothers, our sisters, our daughters being influenced by huge TV adverts, by huge radio adverts? To Take pills. You hear on radio, this advert is sponsored by USA, United States uh, International AIDS Development Agency. Why should a European and American government be interested in population control in Africa? Why should a white man hang himself? Because Africans are, the population is exploding. Why? Who manufactures these drugs? Are the drugs paid for by your governments? Are the drugs tested by our scientists? Do our African governments have options of rejecting those drugs? Can all the African governments behave like the Zimbabwean, the, the government of Zimbabwe? They rejected the Dipro Provera birth control pills. Do our governments have a say? Okay, let's leave the politics. Why would a foreign government be interested in administering drugs to our people so that birth is controlled? There was a great thinker who was called Thomas Malthusian. He produced a theory that at every time the population of human beings would be at equilibrium, there will be high birth rates and there will be things like earthquakes, tsunami, lately COVID, war, disease, famine, that would also cause some people to die. So the amount of people dying is almost equivalent to the amount of people being born. So there will be a global population equilibrium. That was according to, to Thomas Malthusian. It's called the Malthus theory. Now, have we analyzed in the African continent, what is the population trend? 70% of the African population is below 30 years of age. It's a growing population, 70%. When you go to Europe, Scandinavia, and America, and in the Western world, again, 60% of the population is aging. Their governments are worried that their people are not producing. In some countries, actually, there is mother motivation. You produce a child, they put you on state support. Because the population of the country is growing. Women are reluctant to produce children. They are steepening them. They are motivating them to produce children. Now in the African continent, they are demotivating us from producing children. Why? What is the population density of Africa? If I'm to divide the entire land space, fertile land, with the population, what would each individual get? that we should start being worried about population growth. Okay, let's go to the biology. There are several methods of birth control. Coitus interruptus, use of condoms and femidoms, use of spawn, use of spermicides, some chemicals you spray to, to, to ensure the uh, fertilization does not take place. There is use of pills, there is insertion of that device into the uterus called the IUD, the intrauterine device. So that uh, when uh, the blood lining starts on the uterus wall, it is interrupted. That's the uh, uh, IUD. And then there is the, the drugs, the, the pills, where they insert 
in the arms of the women, some they take it periodically. Now, in my philosophical thinking, forget about the types of birth control. There are majorly three ways. There is one which is medicinal, taking these drugs. There is another one which is mechanical, interrupting, interrupting uh, the uh, fertilization and subsequent ovulation and subsequent fertilization using the IOD or clipping the fallopian tubes. Those are mechanical. And then there is the natural means. For your information, a woman only conceives five days in a man's cycle. Five. And the fifth day includes the day of ovulation. All the other days is free for all. There is no conception. So that means with proper reading of the cycles, a woman has to stay safe only for four days and the fifth day before conception. All the other days you are free to, to do what you want. So why has the African population adopted to the European way of birth control? Yet the natural way does not have any side effects. Just four days. One, two, three, four. Four days. Now we are taking pills. What are the side effects? Fever. Back pain. Altered eye, eye, eyesight. Altered menstruation periods. Cancer. Soft breast, sturdy breast. Those are the severe impacts of these pill, pill, pills. And, and the human species is being altered in the African continent. If you look at our fathers, our forefathers, they were huge. There are very few people being produced with that size and, and DNA. The, the, the African species has dwindled. Could it be the impact of these, these drugs? Those days, men could run around the football field 13 times, 9, 10, 11 times. They were energetic. But these days, even running around the field twice is a headache because the genotype of the African species has seemingly been altered. I'm personally not against birth control, but I am against the type of birth control. There is a concept called eugenics. The black Americans have refused to take on these artificial drugs because there is a lot of theories behind it. The eugenics say a certain species that are not very good for the human race must be eliminated or reduced in number. That is how the Native Americans disappeared. So some scientists said, oh, we are taking these pills. What is the game plan? Why is the population of the whites, the orientals, increasing in the African continent? We have to start talking about this. We have to tell our mothers. We have to tell our sisters. We have to tell our daughters that these sponsored birth controls where people are inserting things in their body to alter the hormones, to alter the blood so that there is no fertilization, Wait a minute. There are times there are even children. The African woman is strong. The African species is strong. That at times they defy those odds. And they, when they try to alter the hormones, they try to alter the blood to discourage fertilization. The African woman is still strong. Some of them still conceive. And what is happening? We are producing a unique species of human beings. Doing those species not unlike our family. Species that cannot run around the field for long. We are producing zombies. Go to child care centers. The population of zombies have increased. All these pills. What will happen in the next 50 years? What will happen in the next 100 years? Will there be any human race in this continent with these drugs we are swallowing day and night? Why, why, why are you, why are you bigger than your child? Ask yourself. Why is your child smaller than you? What has happened to your genes? You have altered the genes. You have altered the genes that God gave you. Why is the African man the fastest in running on planet Earth? It is the genes, the DNA.
These are DNA and genes acquired over millions of years. Why is the fastest swimmer on earth a white man? It is the genes. So we are now altering the genes in the name of birth control. <laughs> what should be done? Listen to the philosopher. Listen to Otto. Two things. Let's campaign for natural method of birth control. Five days. It's enough. The men should be men and gentlemen and live those five days if you don't want to have children. Two, in case we need to use mechanical methods and not hormonal methods, like the intrauterine device, like when the birth is caesarean, at the time of birth, if you don't want to have another child, clip, pay additional fee and clip the fallopian tubes to stop fertilization. And this thing of drugs, go and read the works of Margaret Sanger. She's the lead eugenics. Read their thoughts, read their thinkings, and then you will decide whether you want to take those pills. Keep swallowing it, that bad control. The world is changing, God knows. But also the human beings are getting a little shorter, especially in the African continent. In Europe, the people are huge, big. In Africa now, we are producing half human beings. Think, learn, act. Honorable Otto is not discouraging birth control. Honorable Otto is discouraging this reckless taking of pills and reckless TV, sponsored TV adverts. Someone who involved you in slave trade, someone who brought their religion, someone who demonized your God and put it with small g, someone who controls you, someone whom you need a visa to go to their country, is the same person now that wants to help you so that you don't overproduce. Put one to one and then come with your own conclusion. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And please subscribe to my, my, my channel.